So first order versus higher order mapping. First order mapping transforms each emitted value and emits the result. So something like this. We get an emitted value um, into x, we multiply it by 2, and we get out the result. Higher order mapping transforms each emitted item into another observable. So here we're taking an ID, so we're getting a stream with, uh, that's going to be providing us an ID, and we're transforming that using the HTTP GET to go retrieve more data, which is going to give us back another observable. So that's the key difference between first order and higher order mapping. Let's dive into that a little bit more. What if we have something like this? So here's our set of products, and the user um, wants this beautiful ring here, so they click on ring. And what we want to have happen is detail information to display. We have a stream set up. When the user clicks on ring, it emits the ID of that, so ID 5, for example. Then it goes and retrieves the data for the detail. Okay, so our first thought might be to do something with a map. So we're going to take our selected ID that's emitted into our stream, and we're going to map it into a product. Sounds right. So we could write code like this. So we're taking our selected product action dollar, which is getting us this 5, because that's the one the user picked, and we're going to map it into an HTTP get to go ahead and get the data. But this doesn't work. Bummer. Okay. So why? As you know, if you've used anything with RxJS, in order to make a stream work, you have to subscribe to it. Otherwise, it just doesn't go. So here in this case, we're going to subscribe to product dollar, either with a subscribe statement or with an async pipe. Subscribing to product dollar subscribes to what it's equal to here, this dot product selected action. So it starts that stream as well, and we start receiving all of the selection actions. The user clicked on the ring, that's ID 5, we're going to get the 5. We're mapping that to this HTTP GET, and get, guess what we're not doing here? We are not subscribing to that inner observable, and this GET is never going to occur. The other interesting thing is if you're in the editor and you hover over product dollar, you'll see that its type is observable of observable of product. And, you know, that's just not right. That's not something that you're going to want to deal with or try to unwrap yourself. So how do we deal with this? And the answer is higher order mapping operators. Yay. Um, so let's talk about what those are. Higher order mapping operators are a family of operators that ends in map. What they do is they map each value from a source or that outer observable to a new inner observable. But the, one of the key attributes of higher order mapping operators is that they automatically subscribe and unsubscribe from your inner observable for you so that you don't have to worry about it or mess with it. They then emit their resulting values to the output observable and you get the binding that you're expecting to have. So you might end up with code then that looks like this. So this is the same code that we looked at before, but now we have switch map instead of map. Having a higher order mapping operator means that um, it's going to automatically subscribe and unsubscribe from this inner observable, and this code is actually going to work. The other thing is if you hover your mouse over the product dollar there, you will see that it unwrapped it for you as well. So you're going to be getting back an observable of product which is what you're going to want um, for your binding uh, for your detail page. Okay, so three of the higher order mapping operators is the merge map, um, also called flat map, concat map, and switch map. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.